Hi everybody, Angie here, coming on to do a fun little make little slash tutorial with you guys. Um, I have uh, come on and done a prior video on how I reuse these little cellophane slips from the backs of our washi stickers. And I was commenting saying I, you know, I'm a hoarder and I don't like to throw anything away. You never know when something's going to um, come in handy for a project. But anyway, I uh, talked about how I like using, keeping these, at least the larger ones, the square ones, the rectangle ones, circular ones. The odd shape ones, not so much. This one is almost kind of a square. It's got a little bit, I don't know how well the camera's picking that up, but it's got a little bit of a um, rounded, curvy edge on two of the edges. And I thought that would be kind of cool. So I held on to that one and I pulled them out today and I thought I would work on some little tuck spots and pockets. So I thought I'd bring you guys along and let you guys see another way of reusing these. I love using these just because of the thickness. They're not too thin and they're not too thick. Um, they go through my sewing machine really well. They adhere down to paper, um, fabric, just everything really, really well. So I really like reusing these when I can. So I thought I'd um, take you along and show you a couple little pockets, tuck spots, um, pieces that I was gonna try and do. Um, here's one that I did real quickly. Um, I just took, it's a rectangular piece of um, the cellophane. And this, again, it's a backing from one of my washi stickers, one of the larger ones. All I did was I sewed it down to a piece of digital, which this was just copy weight paper, which is pretty thin. So I backed it on um, another piece of paper. So it's two page thickness. And this will actually go down on a page. And it'll be a little clear, clear pocket. Um, I was going to do a stamp on here and show you guys, you can actually stamp on these as well if you use permanent, like stays on ink. Um, but I pulled out my stays on ink and it is literally a brand new stamp pad and it's dried out. I am extremely, extremely disappointed. So, um, I guess I'm going to have to buy a re-inker or something to reactivate that. Um, but yeah, brand new. It's been sitting in there too long, I guess. I haven't used it. So I got to get busy on using some of this. But I wanted to bring in and, you know, maybe a little, add a little something on there. But uh, I couldn't. But still, this is really, really cute. Um, this one here is another one. It was a rectangle um, backing to a washi sticker. I just folded it in half. And I sandwiched a stamped envelope on a file folder that I did and just sewed around it. And I was gonna make like a little dangle, a little charm dangle and put a couple other little elements on there. So um, then as I was using, looking at this, this could also be like a mini pocket or tuck spot. You can put it down on a page, you know, something like that and it can be like that or you can overlay it. Um, wait till we get the other one done and overlay it and make it a multiple pocket. Um, let me see if I have anything. Okay, here, I have some blank. Here's a journal card, okay, that I have um, ready to be decorated. Okay, this could go down on a page as a pocket. Okay, so you'd have a pocket here. This could actually go on top. You can glue that down, and it could be a double layered pocket, you know, like that. So you'd have a pocket there and a pocket there. Um, just totally up to you. But I just like the idea of using the clear and the cellophane and the laminating and stuff like that. I get in my little rut, my little moods where I just want to do a whole lot of that stuff. So just another idea there. But I plan on using this one as like a little dangle charm of some sort. I'm going to put a couple extra pieces on there. Probably put a ball chain with an eyelet or something on there. So when I get that completed, um, I'll, you'll probably see it back out in a future project. But that's an idea there. Okay, so I had a couple because we'll probably only have time to maybe get a couple done. Um, here's the odd shaped one and here's almost a square, a little bit of a long square. And I found this loose piece of paper and I thought that would be perfect to work with. 
um, I was measuring before I turned the camera on, and this is almost exactly the right width of this image here. And this is a digital from a kit that I had left over. This is supposed to be like a side tuck or a belly band, and it's got a pretty image, and I thought that would be really cute on the end. Put that down. That could be your side tuck here, and then um, a little mini pocket there, okay? And then I wanted to try and do something with this pot, um, image as well. Okay, so let's let's get going so we can have time to get it done. We'll cut those two images out. Excuse me while I bring in my cutter real quick and see if we can get this done. Uh, let's see, let's cut this one out first. be exactly straight but we'll come pretty close okay and we'll leave that out maybe we can use that for something else okay now that I got it cut off of the page I like to use my finger blade and my ruler I seem to be able to get a little bit of a better edge usually how's everybody doing today Hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing good. Okay. So there's that. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to use, use this whole one, so I won't worry about cutting that out quite yet. We'll start with this one because I have an idea what I want to do with this one. It's gonna. This is really simple, guys. Really, really simple. But I'm just trying to give you guys some inspiration of different ways that you can use these little, these little cellophane pieces. So my thought was just put it right down on here and sew it. Now I always say I don't like to bring my sewing machine on video because I always get stuck. Or but I'm gonna try it today. Um, and then we can just put a little tag in there. Actually, I think I'm gonna go this side and then we can have that pretty butterfly displayed there. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And I'm just gonna put a small dab of glue in the corners just to, oops, that's even too much, just to hold it in place while I'm sewing it. Okay. Just need a little bit, just a dab. Okay, wipe that off. Now this is kind of thin, so I think we should probably back this since it's just copy weight paper, printer paper. And I usually like to use book page for that because I like the thickness. And so I have a couple pieces of that. We'll go ahead and put that down, back that, and then I'm just going to do a stitch around that, and that's going to be done. Unless you want to do any additional um, decorating, you've got yourself a very cute piece of ephemera for your journals. Okay, oops, that popped off. That's okay, I'll put it back on in just a moment. Okay, so let's get that down. I should have did this first anyway. Okay, now I'm gonna try the glue one more time. And get this cut out. I love when I can reuse, repurpose something. We all love that in our junk journal crafting world. Love to being able to reuse and repurpose things. Okay, so I'm gonna round these two inside edges because obviously I'm gonna make it a right page um, side tuck. 
Okay. And let's do a little ink now too before we put a little ink around there. Okay, now let's do a couple more dabs of glue. It's already caught. Okay, I put this stuff aside. I'm gonna bring up my sewing machine real quick. And I'm just gonna do a real quick, I think I'm just gonna do a straight stitch right around those three sides. As I'm looking, I don't have that much thread left on my spool here, so you can't do too much sewing. Okay. Got it on the right stitch, bring that down. This is so simple, the hardest thing is to do. And hold on just a second, guys. And you know what, I think I'm gonna just try. zigzag on the bottom. Try and go around this curved edge. Okay. And bring it back up to straight stitch. Okay, and I'll bring that back up again for the next one as well because I thought we'd just stitch them both. I'm in a stitching kind of a mood. And we've got something just as simple as that, guys. Let me see. I have a lot of junk on my desk here. And you've got yourself just a really cute little... Let me grab my journal. And find a blank page. And it will go down just as simple something as simple as this maybe a different page that looks pretty with a little color on it and it can go down just like that as a side tuck you've got your side tuck there and you've got your cute little clear pocket right there okay and then if you want to just bring in any more decoration but this just as simple as that guys i just just trying to give you guys more ideas of ways to use little scraps and little bits of your pieces, okay? So I'm going to hold on to that. We've got ourselves a nice little side tuck there, okay? So we've got that one done. Then I was thinking, I kind of like the shape of that. I thought we could make a nice, good-sized little pocket out of that. It is almost four inches in width. And then I saw this here. So again, you just kind of find a nice little digital or image that you want to be in the background. And again, let's um, go ahead and uh, back that with another piece of book page to strengthen that. And I'm not gonna use the whole image, but I'll go ahead and just put the whole image down because it's just quicker and easier for sake of camera and time. Okay. My paper's gonna curl on me a little bit because of the glue stick, but we will get around that. Okay, it's a little sticky on the edges. Let me just cut that away. So 
so it's not in my way. Okay. All right, so that will be the back portion of our pocket. And I was thinking maybe something, I've got my fingerprints on this. Maybe something, I think I want the text more than anything. I'm not really, yeah, I think I want to go right about there. So we need to cut that down. Right there. And I'll cut the, the rest off, the top and the bottom off once I get it sewn. I'm just looking at it and see if I wanna do a zigzag or if I wanna do a straight stitch. And I think definitely on this one, I'm just gonna go a quick straight stitch. So I'm just gonna cut a couple dabs just to hold it in place. Find my positioning. I think right about there. I like that. Got a little bit of the color, a little bit of the color from the flowers and we've got the nice text. And Okay, I'm gonna bring my sewing machine back up real quick, guys, okay? And we're gonna get that stitched. Okay, I'm definitely just gonna do a quick straight stitch on this one on the three sides, okay? So I will be right back. Here we go guys, noise for just a, just about 60 seconds. have to watch for wait, oops pulled too hard look at that guys see something always happens when I use my sewing machine always just me rushing but anyway I will get around that when I put the pocket down you know there's always a fix to our our bloops and blunders okay um, when I put that down on a page, I will just stick another embellishment right over that corner right there. Easy, easy, easy fix. Okay, so now I need to trim um, where I want that to be. And we're gonna go, make sure I don't cut into the plastic. Right there. Like that. And then the top as well. little ink and we'll go with vintage photo since I've got brown thread in there tie it all together and we've got ourselves another nice little pocket guys um, here's one just like that and then you could put this down on your page, but I had this little piece of scrap that I didn't want to go to waste. And it had some of the same similar colors. So I thought I would take a look and see how this looks. I'm just gonna trim some of this edge off. And 
and this is from an Easter digital, but we can cover that up just like that. I don't like that, but that is cute. It's got some of the similar colors as pulling the pink. It's got some hues of green in there. And then just decorate the rest of your page to match the, but I don't like that straight edge. So I'm gonna eliminate that. I wanna keep a little bit of that green edge, so I'm not gonna go all the way. Have a little bit of color there, okay. Hit that with a little ink. Put that down just like that. And we can put it all the way down or I can just do the three sides and then we have another pocket, okay? Totally up to you. And I think that's actually, I think that's actually what I'm gonna do because this has been reinforced. It's got some strength and stability. And for purposes, we will just give it a little thumb tab, pull spot there, put a little ink there. And there we go, and that's ready to go down on a corner of a page, just like that. So let's um, do that. And again, for that little boo-boo there, I will bring in something to cover that spot. I'm just trying to think if I have anything close at hand right now, which I don't think I have anything in this color palette in front of me. but we've got ourselves a nice little page. And that's kind of, let's see, that can go down just like that, okay? And then you can complete the rest of your decoration on your page, which I wasn't planning on putting it in this book. Um, a subscriber recommended and asked if I would do a craft with me and decorate some of the pages of this journal that I made with them. So I think I'm gonna, oh, there's some pink there. That would complement that page right there, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Let's just do that right now. This wasn't gonna turn into decorating journal pages, but um, let's go ahead and just do that. I think though, what I'm gonna do, I wanna bring in a little bit of ink so I don't have all that white. Just a little to the edge. I'm trying to think of. Just a little color. And I have, let's see, I have this stamp. I just don't want that complete white background back there. So why don't I just bring in a little bit of stamping and I'm gonna use, um, I guess we can use Vintage Photo again. And I'm not gonna use my stamping block because I just wanna hit it in spots. Just hit it a little here, a little there. Let's see how much this is, space this is gonna take up. 
see, something like that. Put a little more. And I'm trying to just use different portions of my stamp block here. Okay, that should do. And I can always come back and add more to the page later if I choose. And then this will go down just like that. I like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And I think I have, oh, even a glue stick. wrinkles a little bit. That thing just doesn't want to leave my fingers, does it? And there we go. And then finish up decorating that. I don't have, like I said, I didn't plan on this being a craft with me. Let's see what I have on my desk here. Um, nothing that matches. But just to stick a couple pieces in here. And then we need something in the front, don't we? Let's see. I've got another one of these little postal pieces to go in there. Something like that. But I'll probably still add more to this page, but I just want to just show you um, just a little something real quick. Don't want it to be too plain. But there we go. We've got, we just made ourselves a multi-pocket um, page embellishment out of just scraps, just simple scraps, you know. And if you don't have a sewing machine, you don't have to stitch it. It can, um, you can do faux stitching. You can just glue it down. Um, you can use staples, um, whatever you you know, whatever you, whatever you choose if you don't want to stitch. But there we go, okay? So I'm gonna pull those out because I don't know that I wanna keep those particular pieces in there. But still, again, I think that looks really nice. And I have to think, I don't have anything in front of me at the moment, but um, I'll definitely bring in a little flower, something like that, maybe a piece of washi sticker, just something right there. And I do have some washi. Um, no. Probably a little small flower or something there and then bring in something right up in through here just to fill that page in. But again, really cute idea, okay? And here is our belly band side tuck, our page side tuck with a pocket, with a um, clear pocket, okay? Here's one that I made, okay? Here's one that I did with um, just stitching all the way around that I'm gonna do into like a little dangle. You know what? I just had an idea. I saw another page. Here we go, guys, on a tangent. Let's see. Why don't we just put this one down? Ooh, that would look good right there. I like that. Let's do that. Um, let me think for a moment, guys. Since we're on a washi sticker bin here, let's see what I've got. Got some pink and green. Um, let me just look through here. I like that word. Um, yeah, 
that's pretty. There's a couple. Okay, let's see what we can do with that. Um, oh, we'll get two pages decorated. How about that? Um, let me see. like that oh, what else do I have in this pile Kind of nice. It's so delicate. I feel like it needs something else, though. Let's see. Um, let's start there. I like that positioning of those pieces. I think they go well together. So let's go ahead and put those down, and I'll be thinking as I'm going. See, now, like this one, it's kind of an odd shape. I would not save that. I'm going to toss that. Okay. Okay, I like that. Let's put this one down. Again, another odd shaped one. I won't save that. And let's put that pocket right about there. We'll tuck this behind. So let's put that down right about there. Yeah, I like that one in the corner. I love washi stickers. I'll tell you, they sure do simplify simplify our lives when it comes to decorating because they've already got the little collage going. They go down so quick, so easy. I love them. I don't know how you guys feel about them, but I love working with washi stickers and washi tape, especially the vintage ones that have the collaging. Okay. So let's put that about there. Do I want that text one? Yeah, I like that. And again, another wonky one. I won't use that. Try my best to get it straight. And if they overlap, see they just blend right together, no big deal. Turn that little piece off. Okay, now let's put our pocket down. And this is going all the way down this one. We're not making a multi-pocket out of this one. It's just going to be one little mini pocket. Okay. Just like that. And we've got ourselves another cute, cute little um, clear pocket. Okay, and then I want to put that bird, I think. Yep. 
And he's two sided. That's cool. Okay, and then we need to put something in the pocket. So let me look through here again, see what I've got. It doesn't go. That clashes also. Mm. Oh, here's one. Oh, I like that. Add a little pop of different color in there. I like the text. Very nice. Um, is that done? I feel like we need something else. Maybe a little something here. Looking at that, let me look at my lace and my trims here. I've got them close by. Do we want a piece of trim on the edge? That looks very nice. Do we want white though? Let me keep looking. I've got some purple here. Ribbon. That's pretty. Hmm. Oh wait, hold on. I've got a piece. I've got a piece of this. Huh. Um. Fabric that I used on here. Hmm. Feel like hold on. Here's a little ruffle. It's kind of short. That would look cute, but I'm covering up my stitching. But that looks really cute, doesn't it? Or do we want to run it on the side? That's cute. Let's just do that. Or do I want to do both? Let me look. See, I just, I'm undecisive sometimes, guys. In the middle, what do you think? Let's do that. Let's do it. Which side do I want top and which side do I want to be the bottom? Okay. That worked out really well. bring this back in. I feel like it needs a little little patch of something right there. Let me just cut a piece off. Just a small little corner. Let me see, maybe maybe just a little patch right there. What do you think? A little piece of cheesecloth with that would look really good, but I don't have it close by. Where's my cheesecloth? Hold on. I think I do have it. I do. Do we want white or do we want the cream? I think we want the cream. Me and my dull scissors. I like it. 
Let's go with it. Okay, and I'm gonna put a staple. Since we have a staple on the tag, I think that will just tie it all together and then put that down. Right there. Cute. Ah, ideas. They just flow sometimes and you just got to go with it. You got to go with it. What do you think, guys? Okay. Well, thank you for sticking in with me today. I have, we started talking about doing clear pockets and tucks and ended up decorating a couple journal pages, but it was a lot of fun. I really like this page. That came out really, really nice. That's not quite dry. Give that another second to catch. Okay, so where are my bits? We've got them here. Okay, so here's what we... We're going over today, guys, just finding ways to reuse and repurpose our scraps and things that we would normally throw away. And what the project was today was just making pockets and tucks and different little dangles and different pieces out of scraps, okay? So here we've got a little mini pocket for a side tuck on a page, okay? We're just gonna use that for the moment. Here's a nice good sized pocket that we made here to house a little journaling card. And we ended up decorating that whole page and I just love it. I think that came out really cute. Just out of the spur of the moment. Okay. And then we did another page back here somewhere, didn't we? Let me find it. Where did it go? Come on. Didn't we? Am I losing my mind, guys? Did we do one? I thought we did. Maybe I'm just going too fast. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm getting confused if we did one or if we just did that um, side tuck or not. There we go. Yes, we did. Okay. And here's another good size pocket and we layered that twice and made a, a double pocket. So we've got a clear pocket here. We've got a back pocket there. Okay. So not too bad, we made a few little projects and we got a couple pages decorated and I definitely will add to that and find something um, coordinating to put in those pockets there. But that's for another video, okay? So there we go, guys. We came up with some really cute pieces, I think, okay? So that is my inspirational video for today. I hope you guys like the projects. I hope you guys found some inspiration in it and. Um, sparked us some joy and um, some interest. I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching, guys. You guys take care. God bless, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.